Hi folks, it's Deb Marshall. I've got a fun job today. I'm coming to you from my backyard. Usually that uh, we're out in the front yard with the flowers and today we're in the backyard because we have a fun job we have to do. You know, in uh, building our online businesses, it's sometimes, and it is for us, all about lifestyle. Financial freedom and lifestyle. So today I'm going to give you a little look at what happens when you're not a grandmother but your daughter decides to make a change, a serious change. Yes, we are walking into chaos. My daughter has brought home two rescue puppies that are a year old, and you will see them, the two puppies, and our own dog, who uh, our miniature pincer, who we have had since he was a baby as well, the same age, about a year old, and he's now about 11. So now we're going to see chaos. Here are two puppies. They are a year old and they are absolutely havoc to deal with, as you can see. Here puppy, here puppy, here puppy, here puppy, here puppy. And puppy, 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 where are puppies? Puppies, puppies, puppy, puppy, puppy. We gotta get the puppies in there. Oh yes. So we are puppy sitting and of course these little guys live with us full time because uh, our daughter uh, shares uh, and her husband share part of the house with us. So uh, now we get to uh, deal with their kids. Uh, as I said, my daughter is um, 35 and she and her husband have decided that they might not have children. So they brought home these two rescues for us to foster. And they're giving they're eating the treats I gave them right now so they actually stop running around. Here's our own man and spy. Come here, spy. There's spy. Spy is just a crazy guy that we have raised and it's absolutely wonderful. He is a purebred min pin. These little guys are across with a miniature pincer. <laughs> and something else. We don't know what else. I'm thinking a Rottweiler <laughs> from the look of them, but uh, they're just going crazy here today. And here's my hubby out here helping me uh, deal with these guys because uh, they're just uh, a handful. We uh, have to bring them outside a couple of times a day to uh, get some exercise. And uh, so they're uh, out here having fun with us right now. <laughs> And uh, just think, if uh, we had work-a-day jobs, uh, the, the big J-O-B, we couldn't do this. We couldn't uh, be out uh, playing with puppies twice a day in order to get them exercised. And then as we work around the house during the day, they are under our feet. So uh, I say we have puppy puddles. We uh, just meaning the puppies themselves are under our feet every time we turn around. When I go to sit down at my computer, I have to clean them off the chair in order to sit down. And here's Spy. Spy, hi there. How's my baby? This is our 11-year-old uh, uh, male minpin. Spy. And he's uh, quite curious when he gets outside. So once again, we are there's my hubby ready to deal with puppies and here's the puppies <laughs> going absolutely crazy uh, well you know this is why we are with the empower network building our <laughs> online businesses our empower network and our shasai healthy chocolate business oh here's a couple of tired puppies yes so we are building our online businesses so that we can have lifestyle hey, hey. to do things like this and <laughs> take care of my daughter's uh, idea of uh, children. Oh, got her out of the film. Okay, so um, this is what it's all about. You got to build some quality lifestyle so that you can get outside and enjoy life and they're chewing up something over there bill you better go rescue them <laughs> these little guys are almost we call them instead of the terrible twos we call it the terrible chews hi puppy hi puppy you yeah, we call it the terrible chews because they are in the point where they want to chew on everything so once again build some lifestyle we have these uh, I shouldn't say adopted, we're fostering these puppies. 
if somebody decides to adopt them they they will have new homes again but uh, I counted up last night and of all the dogs we have had over the last years we've had a total of six rescued dogs that we have loved and welcomed into our home and uh, raised as our own family here puppy there puppy so bye for now blessed be